Hello, my loves. Welcome to your uh, weekly reading. This is going to be for February 9th through the 15th. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, let's go ahead and do a quick shuffle here on camera. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What messages do we have for my Libras, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance? What love messages? What advice do my Libras need to hear today, please, for February 9th through the 15th, please, Holy Spirit? All right, my loves. So, guys, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Um, like, share, comment, click that notification bell. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. Um, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, jewelry, palo santo, sage, you name it. It's a huge giveaway. So go ahead and um, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when that announcement for the winners um, comes out, okay? Um, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, <coughs> my link is below. I do have over 100 tarot and oracle decks. Um, the link is below. You can go to my website to purchase. Um, all of my uh, cards have um, links if you're interested, okay? So, guys... Oh, and I'm not taking personal readings right now, guys, but I am doing almost daily collective messages. So in the description box below, you will see the link for the timeless collective messages. You can go on there um, if you would like a little more advice, clarity, guidance. There are multiple readings there. Um, check out the titles. See if anything resonates with you and, um, and take it from there. Those readings are timeless, so whenever you come across them, that's when you're meant to see them, okay? So Libra, let's get into your um, your energy, which I loved, by the way, okay? I love this energy that you guys are in um, because you guys right now are in a place where you're not really focusing on love, to be honest with you. You're very, um, what's the word that I want to, I don't want to say judgmental, but you're very cautious on who you uh, date, on who you let into your energy. Um, right now, you're just withdrawn, focusing on yourself. You're very slow to commit to people, very slow to come around to people. Um, I feel that you're just really focusing on your own abundance right now, whether it's financially, picking up your energy, picking up your vibration. Uh, there was a, a, a big sense of, I know that in order for me to have the love that I want in my life, Life, I need to I need to raise my vibration okay um, and that's real growth that is real growth it takes a lot to say I want to be alone for a little bit because I need to do me you know it takes a lot to do that a lot of people you know um, I don't want to say I have a fear of being alone but don't like being alone we all like to have somebody to go out do things with or whatever but I feel Libra that you've just reached a point where you're like listen there you know and, and like I said this is real growth okay you're turning around and saying, I need to withdraw to figure out what I really want. Okay. And to attract what I really want, if I want true love, I need to truly love myself. I need to be happy with my finances, my home life, my body, my mentality, the way I wake up in the morning. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I feel like you're really going within to look and see what we, what it is that you want. Okay. So let's see what we have coming in. The high priestess cancer pisces energy so the high priestess is all about you're not really talking you're not really i have to sneeze and i lost it okay so <clears throat> you're not really talking about this to many people um you know this may be something that you're not really saying no i don't want to go out tonight because i have to do some soul searching you know you're not really telling people that this is what you're going through but you're you're digging deep you're doing that soul searching you're doing that spiritual work you're cleaning out your some of you that are more spiritual may actually be doing some reiki cleansing some chakra cleansing cleansing out your your energies you know um just really trying to better yourself as a person so that you accept the correct people into your life all right so let's see what we have for your oracle here spirit what messages do we have for courage like i said that's growth guys that's y'all are stepping up to the plate you know what i'm saying it takes courage it takes courage to really look within ask yourself what am i doing wrong you know what i'm saying obviously you know there gets to a point where it can't be the whole world that's all you know the world is messed up we know that but you're just saying like it, what am I like? Am I choosing the wrong people? Am I not in a good vibrational place that I keep attracting these toxic people? 
because you want true love. You want true love. You want to find that true love. And it takes courage to really do the right thing to attract that, okay? Um, to attract that. And But you guys are, are on that mission. You're on that path, which is beautiful. I love your energy right now. I love it. Okay, so let's see what we have here. A personal issue reaches resolution. That's what I'm saying. This is a personal thing for you guys. This is, you're not, you're not looking... You've passed this point of blaming other people. You've passed this point of being like, well, my life is messed up because he cheated or she cheated or she treats me like this. Now you're pulling back and you're being like, you know what? Screw him. Screw her. I can do this on my own. I can achieve happiness on my own. And once I've reached that high vibration where I'm good all by myself, then I will find somebody to share it with. Okay, um, instead of like relying on people to make you happy. I don't give a shit about your flowers. I will buy them myself. I don't care about you making me a sandwich or whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I will, I will make it myself. I'm fine all by myself. And once I've reached that higher vibration where I'm good and happy with me as a person, when I love me, then I will attract someone that truly loves me too. So this is a personal resolution that needs to come to conclusion here, guys. Um, some of you may not feel worthy of true love. Some of you may not feel like your life is together where you could attract the right type of people some of you may be dealing with drug addictions or the negative addictions in your life going to the wrong places and and hooking up with the wrong type of people there's so many different scenarios here okay but you guys are cleaning it up cleaning house to attract positivity in your life so let's see what we have here guys we've got engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment we've got the ten of wands we have the seven of wands we have the seven of pentacles we've got the two of cups and we have the king of cups so guys clear as day what i'm seeing here is this is not a a, a, a commitment to your person what i'm feeling is or you may have engaged or or tried to reach a higher level of commitment with the wrong people because what i'm seeing with the ten of wands and the seven of wands is enough is enough you know, enough is enough. I can't take this anymore. With the Seven of Wands, there's a lot of challenges that need to be overcome here. The Seven of Pentacles talks about looking at your past, looking at mistakes that you've made with the Two of Cups in your connections, okay? So you are trying to reach a level of deep commitment with these people from your past, and you're, it's just enough is enough like you're choosing the wrong people you're acting the wrong way something here is happening in your life that you need to overcome and you're looking back at those mistakes and focusing on how to not make them in the future the king of cups is very loyal very committed very kind but at the same time masters his emotion so what that's telling me libra is that right now you're in a place where even if you feel lonely even if you want love even if you want a family even if you want all of these things you're mastering that emotion to better yourself to overcome overcome these challenges to have healthier relationships okay to have healthier relationships so let's see what we have here make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so we have the queen of swords libra energy on your throne the page of wands Oops. we have temperance sagittarian energy We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and we have the Four of Wands. So again, guys, you are making the effort here to cut out anybody who is immature, anybody who is not on your vibration, okay? As you could see here on the board, you are higher than these people. You're on a higher level of vibration, and these people are dragging you down. So you're not looking for people that are immature anymore. You're not looking at people that make promises, quick, passionate promises, and then it fizzles out, okay? What you're doing here with temperance sagittarian energy is you're healing you're allowing this light to come into your life you're allowing this angel to balance out those emotions and with that magician here you want to manifest you want to be great at loving somebody at being passionate for somebody with that sword protecting your connection and with that pentacle you know what i'm saying having abundance you see how that magician has it all they got the cup there they got everything okay look at what's on the table see you got the pentacle there you got the sword you got the wand that's what a magician does a magician has what it takes to overcome everything 
okay, to overcome everything. So you're allowing this angel to come in, heal you from the inside out so that you can manifest. What are you manifesting? This beautiful four of wands, okay? Uh, a soulmate connection, a twin flame a con a connection, your perfect counterpart, somebody that will commit someone to start a life with, okay? So let's see what we have coming in. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this could be an issue that is stemming back from childhood. I'm getting that a lot of you may be actually realizing that the reason why your relationships, I'm actually getting the word cursed. Like a lot of you are like, I'm just cursed when it comes down to love. So a lot of you are actually rewinding to see what may have happened in your childhood to cause these problems, okay? So as you heal that, now we have the lover's card coming in, okay? We've got Gemini energy, the Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So you're asking yourself, why am I always attracting and choosing these player type energies, these unemotionally available energies, these player girls, player guys? Why am I always choosing these people and seeing them as soulmates, seeing them as God sent? You know what I'm saying? Now, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to fight against that feeling you want to heal whatever needs to be healed you want to fight for your wish fulfillment and your happiness and what's going to come of this a beautiful new beginning in love guys so we do have new love coming in once you reach this personal issue once you realize that this is an issue that you are making the conscious choice to choose these very um uh uncommitted unstable energies these player type energies here and i feel with that high priestess this is your intuition it's spiritual guidance guiding you to realize that you need healing we need to start with ourselves first as i always say we go so far above and beyond to lock our homes to lock our cars to protect our money but a lot of us don't come to that understanding that it starts with us we have to protect our thoughts we have to protect our energy we have to protect our body and our souls and I feel like you're asking yourself why do I keep making this decision you know if if something is in our fridge and it has now grown mold and it looks disgusting we don't take it and eat it so why is it that when we see a person that is toxic or non-committal or whatever else why would we invite that into our lives and our energy do you understand it will make us sick it will infect our lives it will hurt us you understand and you're you're starting to really come to that foundational question of why why do i do this okay i have libra in my chart and i have to tell you this reading actually resonates with me because about a week ago i asked myself the same thing and i came to realize that to be honest with you guys my parents are very very mean as much as i love them i come from an italian family i have a very big family but my parents got divorced at a young age i mean i had a very very young very rough childhood okay and my parents are very very selfish i was not even fortunate enough to have one parent that's selfish and one parent that's loving both of my parents were very selfish and I found that I can't I'm in this place where I choose my partner that I'm always choosing people that are emotionally unavailable why because I'm so used to having to work for people's love do you understand um, to get any type of praise from my mom or my dad I have to buy my mom things or for my dad I actually have to do something that he wants me to do do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like I always have to put work in to receive some type of form of emotional response. So I'm always looking for people that don't care about me and I have to put a ton of work in to get some type of response. So the people that do just love me for Gina, I don't understand that concept. So it's just funny and I, I, I tell you my experience guys, not because I want to babble on, but I'm teaching you how to take a tarot reading and how to really place it in your own life that it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to do to have self-love and to realize that none of us are perfect we all carry some form of toxicity in us whether it's from our childhood whether it's from people that have hurt us from the past energy is energy and it never goes away but what we can do is convert negative energy to positive energy we can take that negativity and build something beautiful off of it okay 
For instance, you know, my entire life, even though I was mistreated as a child, I chose not to go that route to cause pain to others. I'm the exact opposite. I'm like a doormat. Like I will give you whatever you need. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but then again, there are people that have had very, very negative childhoods that proceed forward in life and that toxicity is spilled into other people's lives. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel that this is such a beautiful energy for you guys to be in right now because you're coming to the realization that you need to fix what's broken in you to stop attracting people that are also broken, okay? Because that's the energy that you're releasing, all right? And it's just gorgeous. So we have courage, and it does take courage to realize that there's actually something wrong with us. It, it takes a, sh you gotta have balls. Let's just put it out there, okay? Yeah, because it's easier to say that there's something wrong with everybody else and that we're perfect. You know, just the human nature, that it's just easier to do that, you know? Um, but, you know, reality is, is that we allow the things that happen to us and we allow those things for a reason. For a reason, because in some way we are broken. In some way we need to fix what is broken. In some way we are releasing that energy without acknowledging it. So Libra, where you guys are at right now, you see how this ends? We've got courage to, to fix the problem. Look, courage to fix the problem so that a personal resolution can be reached. And what is going to come of this Libra? We've got true love and this beautiful new beginning in love. So we do have someone beautiful coming in here. We have true love coming into the picture. So, you know, hopefully it'll be this week. Hopefully you'll meet someone on Valentine's Day or before Valentine's Day, you know, just because it's Valentine's Day, you know, but, um, you do have your, 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 whatever work you're putting in on yourself, it is going to lead you to this, you know, 11, 11 card, this four of wands, this ace of cups, this true love. You guys are so on the right path. It's not even funny. Okay. So let's see what advice we have here for your guys. Be generous of spirit, be generous, lion spirit, be generous of spirit. So guys, what I feel that this means is tithing. Okay, so the best way to tithe is the whole point of tithing is putting out into the universe, putting out what you want to receive. So it kind of ties back to what I was saying. You know, if you're putting out that you're, you know, upset, toxic, pissed off, angry, you know, that's what you're going to receive. So be generous of spirit. Guys, instead of going out to a club and getting all dressed up to go meet somebody, Believe it or not, going to a soup kitchen and feeding the hungry, that's where you want to find the man or the woman of your dreams because that's somebody that's taking time out of their life to help others. And that's the type of person you need in your life. Take time out of your life to go feed the hungry. Take time out of your life to go read to children that are alone and dying of cancer. Um, there's elderly people in nursing homes that have no family that go to visit them. Get yourself into a program where you are being generous in spirit. And in turn, you will find some Somebody that also gives you that generosity back so that for me that's big that's a big tithing card okay put into the world what you're looking to receive believe in yourself squirrel spirit believe in yourself so again a lot of you may be facing this energy of i'm not good enough no one will ever love me or you know i'm cursed or it's just not for me love is just not for me i'm just going to be a spinster i'm just going to be alone for the rest of my life and that's it Believe in yourself. Believe that you are lovable, that you do deserve love. And the thing is, is that you have to love yourself and put that energy out there, okay? You have to believe that you are worthy. We have Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. Be fearless and bold. Libra, again, this ties back to courage. This ties back to courage, okay? It takes a lot to do and face what you guys are. If you are not in this energy yet, you're getting there. You're getting there, okay? And it takes a lot. It takes a lot to really take some time out, not go out with your friends, not date, cut off your sex life, just to focus on yourself. It takes a lot because a lot of us have that, that shadow side that we don't want to face, that we don't want to look at, and it takes a lot to face your demons. But be fearless and be bold because God is with you, spirit is with you, your angels are with you, you have this angel fighting for you, and you are going to manifest your deepest deepest most loving desires are going to come to fruition this is absolutely beautiful guys i love you i hope you enjoyed 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. I will see you guys soon. Bye.